uh, we have gone through the plane say x y y z and x z plane in the previous lectures we've also seen the representation of a point in the three dimensional axis is given by this is x this is y and this is z so the unit vector along the x axis is given by i cap or you can say that is x cap and along y this is j cap or you can say the y cap and this is say k cap or you can see the you can say the z cap the unit vectors along the z axis so how to represent the position vector of this a so we have taken here the quadrant such that the value of a the x y z value of a are positive all positive so we can take any value we can say we can take say minus 3 value or minus 4 value we can take integer and as well as we can take fraction of that so basically to represent the vector notation the position vector we have to uh, uh, represent this one so basically if we consider this picture this is z this is x and this is y this is the point a which has a value 333 for the sake of simplicity so how to reach here how to represent a unit vector so we basically uh, we can take the use of help of this one uh, so basically this is the representation of the position vector over here so this a this is a so this is the analogy with this picture so this a is nothing but a1 i cap a2 j cap plus a3 k cap so if we compare this two value this a1 is nothing but 3 and this a2 is nothing but 3 and this a3 is also nothing but 3 as per our consideration we can take this as 3 4 5 or anything any value we can take minus neg or negative value so accordingly that will be changed as we can see for the different uh, representation of position vector we'll see in the upcoming slide so that will be a negative value so the vec and also the vector can be represented by this one and the length that means the magnitude of this vector that is from here to here is a scalar quantity and this is the standard notation we have to keep it in mind and the direction of a is nothing but given by the unit vector along this a the unit vector it should be noted the unit vector along the x unit vector and along the z and, and unit vectors along the y they are different from the unit vector along this position vector a this uh, picture is taken from ocw.mit.edu the full description is given in the description bar so if we come to this one if we talk about the different representation of uh, position vector in different coordinates what are these so as we can see this f is in all the plus 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 quadrant so all the value of a here positive while all the values of j here are negative so they are in this quadrant and this j in this quadrant basically this j and this f are in the opposition quadrant so as this g this g and this m and so on so all these value are given here now how to represent the j so we have rep uh, already learned how to represent the f or a now how to represent the j what is what are the j values here so let us take the j value over here it's so very simple you take the j value this is your a1 you put it here this is your j2 value you a2 value this is you put it here and this is your a3 value put it here and after substitution that will become minus 4.5 i cap minus 6.5 j cap and minus 5 k cap so this is all for this one so you can find out the j vector over here so it should be noted in this context that uh, that any unit vectors the unit vectors are 
nothing but uh, only consider the only def define the detection part uh, the magnitude of the unit vectors is unity that means one any vector it's represented as a product of unit vector and a magnitude part that is basically a scalar quantity